Hi and welcome back. In this video we're going to create our first website inside of Dreamweaver and see how to add folders and pages and how to keep um, our material inside of Dreamweaver organized. So I'm first thing I'm actually going to do is minimize Dreamweaver so I can see my desktop here. And we need to create a folder to put our website inside of. Um, you can create this folder on your desktop. You can create it um, in your My Documents folder, put it wherever you want it. I'm going to work on my desktop. So I'm just going to right click on my desktop here, go to New and Folder. If you're on a Mac, um, you'll go ahead and create a new folder just by going to the File menu. And I'm going to name this My First website. You can name your folder whatever you want to call it. And there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and go back into Dreamweaver and I'm going to go to the site menu. You can also go to this menu right here and you'll see new site and manage sites. And again new site and manage sites from right here. We're creating a new site. And first thing we're going to do is give the site a name. And again, you can name your site whatever you want. I'm going to call it my first website. And then you're going to see here it says local site folder. And whenever you hear or read um, in a tutorial about the root folder or the local folder or the local site folder, this is what it's talking about. That's basically that folder that I created on the desktop. And I'm going to go ahead here and click on this little yellow folder icon. Um, whenever you see this type, this icon here in an Adobe application, that will bring you into an open dialog box or a choose folder dialog box. And you can see it says choose root folder here. And there's that word root. And I'm going to go to my desktop and here is my first website right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click on that. It should say select and then the name of the folder that you created. And then you're going to go ahead and click select here at the bottom. Now there are some other options here for server and version control and some advanced settings um, options. We're going to talk about those um, in a later uh, video. So don't worry about those right now. The only thing you need to do is give your site a name and tell it what folder you want to go ahead and uh, place it inside of. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save. And you can see here I'm in my files panel and there's the name of my site and there's my folder. And because that folder is empty I don't see anything underneath it. Now, you're going to organize all of the different assets for your website into folders in much the same way as you hopefully organize, let's say, your My Documents folder. You need to create folders to keep everything organized in anything but a very, very simple website. And to create folders inside of Dreamweaver, or inside of a Dreamweaver website, all you have to do is right click and select New Folder. And one folder that every website is going to have inside of it is going to be called Images. And that's where we're going to go ahead and put all the different graphics, photos um, that, uh, that we might use with our, our project. Well, those will all go into the Images folder. Another folder that every website is going to have is a folder called CSS. And that's going to be where all of our cascading style sheet or all of our CSS files are going to um, go. And don't worry if you don't know what a CSS file is. Just know that now we have a folder to put our CSS files into. So very easy just by right clicking and creating uh, to create a folder. You can also create folders inside of folders. For example, if I right click on images and select new folders, I could do photos here. So now I've got a folder for photos inside of images and I could create another folder there and um, call this illustrations. 
so I can create folders inside of folders to organize my content um, even further. And again, just as organizing uh, the content on your computer is important, organizing the content in your website is going to be um, incredibly important um, for you, especially um, if you're dealing with a larger website and even smaller websites that get updated frequently or change frequently, it's really hard to keep track of um, what's what without um, using folders. So feel free to um, use those. Now I'm going to go ahead and minimize Dreamweaver again and here I am back on my desktop and you can see there's that folder my first website. If I double click on it to open it up, you can see there are the two folders that I created right inside of there, CSS and images. And if I double click on images, you'll see there are the folders that I created there. Anytime you create a folder inside of Dreamweaver, that's going to appear in this Windows folder or in your uh, Mac Finder window. Um, you're actually creating a real folder on your computer. And you can also create folders directly inside of this folder, and they will appear in Dreamweaver. Another folder that every website should have is a folder for your JavaScript. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and do New Folder. And I'm just going to call that JS. There's in most websites that use JavaScript, there's a folder called JS that you can put all of your JavaScript inside of. I could create another folder and call it PHP to put any PHP files that I want to work with um, inside of that. So here I've gone directly into this website and I've created some folders. I'll close that and go back into Dreamweaver here and when I open my files panel up, oh, I don't see those. And this is something that um, a lot of people get frustrated on right away if they start adding folders um, on the desktop. You won't see them instantly in this listing. But if you come up here to this toolbar right at the top, the second button that looks like a little arrow, a circular arrow, says refresh. If I click that, it will refresh my folder list and I'll see them. And now I can see JS and PHP. And again, you don't have to do that all the time, but occasionally you might have to um, click on refresh if you don't see something you know um, um, is there. You can also sort your folders very easily uh, just by clicking on this header area here where it says local files. It'll sort everything in ascending or descending order. You can sort things by size or type or when it was last modified. Um, this becomes very important a lot of times when you're looking for graphics or if you've got um, two copies of the same file and maybe you're looking for the one you updated last. Um, can be very, very useful to sort by the date that it was last. Um, modified. So that's how you actually set up your folders for your website. Now creating H files inside of your website is equally um, as easy. And we're going to be working with two basic kinds of web files in, um, um, in this series. Actually three. But the two basic kinds of files that we're going to be working with are HTML files and CSS files. HTML files and CSS files. We're also going to be working with different kinds of images, but we'll talk about images in another video. And again, don't worry if you don't know what exactly an HTML file is or what a CSS file is. We're going to play with those in just uh, in the next video. In this video, we just want to learn how to create those items. Now, when you go to a website, let's say you go to www.timothytest.com, it's going to always open up a home page 
or the initial page for your website. You don't need to actually type in www.timothytest.com slash welcome.html. It's going to know to open a particular page. And the way um, your browser knows what page to open up is the first page inside of your website is always going to be called index.html. And I created that. I'll go ahead and delete it here really quickly and do that again. I created it just by right clicking and instead of, instead of selecting new folder, I selected new file. And you'll see it brings it up as untitled.html and I just type in index.html. And again, that's going to be the home page for your site. Now, other pages that you want to create in your site, you can name them whatever you like. There's just a few simple rules. For example, let's say I want to create an About Us page. I could right click up here, select New File, and I could go type about.html. And actually, the extension here can either be .htm or .html. Either one will work. Um, I would stick with .html. That's the uh, more common, or seems to be the more common one. And it also is the default for um, Dreamweaver. So now I've created two pages inside of my site. And I can continue to create as many blank pages as I want so I can begin working on them. I'm going to go ahead and create um, one more file here. I'm going to go ahead and call it contact.html. Now I also mentioned that we're going to be working a lot with files called CSS files or cascading style sheet files. And those we're going to create not in the root of our website, the way we have these folders and files, but those we're actually going to put in the CSS folder. So here I'm going to right click and select new folder. And again, it, it brings up untitled.html. I want to delete all that. And I'm going to go ahead and call this file styles.css. And that's going to be your main style sheet file. And while it doesn't absolutely have to be named styles.css, it's a good idea to always name this the same thing. And I've chosen styles.css. Um, that's what a lot of designers use. I would call your main style sheet styles.css. And you can see it was created in the CSS folder because that's where I right clicked. So we've gone ahead and we've created actually four files inside of these folders. We've created the three HTML files and we've created that CSS file. And if I minimize Dreamweaver and go into my first website, there are those files. And if I was to go into my CSS folder, there's my styles.css. Now, before we went in here and we directly created folders, and that's not a problem. You can come in here and you can always create folders manually. However, you should never create files or move files around manually in a Dreamweaver website. Just don't, don't move them around directly in this window. If you do, Dreamweaver will get very, very confused. To manage the files in your website, you're going to be in the Files panel here. And to manage any of these items, you just right click on them and select edit and you'll see here's cut, copy, delete, duplicate, rename. You can go ahead and do all of that from that menu. You can also drag and drop files from here. If I point at index and drag it up onto CSS, 
you'll see that file moves in there. If I drag it up into the root folder, and it's always going to confirm the file move here. Let me go ahead and click update. I moved it back down there. So you can drag and drop files wherever you want. Um, if you had accidentally created your styles.css file here in the root instead of in the CSS file, and you can just drag it right up there and then hit update and it'll move that file into that location. So whenever you're moving or deleting files inside of Dreamweaver, always do it from this files panel. If you want to create a folder directly in, um, directly in the folder, you can do that. Or again, you can right click here and create a new folder from this point. But everything else you're going to do as far as even renaming a file, um, you're always going to want to um, do that from within um, Dreamweaver. So we've got our first website here set up with a few pages inside of it. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and begin to learn a little bit about uh, what HTML is and the structure of a web page and also the way HTML relates to other types of files like CSS files and JavaScript files and other types of files. So I'll see you in the next video.